So the first thing that we have is something called Quilter's Preview Paper, and it looks like this. I picked this up at a quilt shop a few years ago, and I did not really know what it was. I've used it, and along the way I have found some really, um, really interesting ways to use this, and I'm going to show you what it is. It is paper that is very, um, just a very um, transparent roll of paper. It's not sticky or anything like that. It's just a nice roll. And what you use it for is when you are going to quilt your quilt and you want to try out some patterns, preview paper will allow you to design some patterns, draw them onto the paper, and then take a look at your quilt. So I'm going to show you right Okay, so I've moved one of my lights so that we can get a better look at this without it shining through. And I'll tell you what we've got. This is the uh, paper right here. You'll see my hand underneath it. And so it is hanging over top of my quilt top that I want to decide how to quilt. What I have done is I've drawn lines just up and down on the paper. So here's the paper, I've drawn lines. And I've spaced them out and I put them down on my cutting mat and I drew the lines on. I like to use a uh, straight line quilting for a lot of quilts. It fits really nicely. And so this is a way for me to decide which quilts does that work really well with. I can look at this first and really get a good idea. So if you hang up your quilt, you put this on top of it and you stand back, you can start to really understand what this is gonna look like. And you see, I can also decide maybe I want to go up and down with it. And so I can pin it across here. And then I can see, do I like the lines running parallel? I can also decide at what, at what uh, distance apart I want those lines to be. Now again, what I'm showing you, I'll show you right here. It's just a sheet. It's just a sheet of the paper, and you see with the lines drawn on. And so, like I said, I can place it sideways. Do I like diagonal across or straight up and down? Or do I like horizontal, up and down the quilt? You really get a good idea. Now, here's something else that it's really nice to use this for. So now you can do the same thing with a template. You can use this and draw it onto your paper. And now I can pin this and take a look at my block and decide, let's look at this one. Do I like it here on the block this way? Should I turn it? so it's this way instead so you really get to get to really I like that a lot I like that a whole lot um, it just gives me a way to kind of turn it and spin it and decide where I like that that block so what you can do is when you have templates like this you can make uh, a piece just like this for every single one that you have and so that you can keep them um, use a um, permanent marker you can keep those in a drawer I keep them right with my right with my templates and then you can use them the next time you're you're taking a look to decide what you want to put on um, uh, whether it's machine quilting or hand quilting um, this is a nice way to do it now let me just show you how easy this is there's something else I want to show you too so I have a small piece of it here, and I, for this I really like to use my um, spinning mat. Uh, this is a 12 and a half inch, 12, yes, 12 inch, 12 and a half. Um, and so I like to use this for that. When you are tracing a pattern, you can use um, permanent marker, and then you have a template that you get to keep. You can also use, and this is something new, a uh, dry erase. So let me show you. All you're going to do is you're going to start tracing this as you go. You're going to be really careful. You can trace the whole pattern. If I made a mistake and I don't like what I've done there, this is a dry erase, and all I got to do is wipe that off. And I'll uh, try it again. So now I'm just going to lay it back on. Oops. Lay it back on, doesn't matter which side. Um, and I have dry erase pens. One is a thin side and one is a thick side on the other side. I, for this, I really like the thin. When I drew the lines on this one, I used the thick end. But for the smaller ones, I like the thin. So I'm going to just draw it right on. And then I can use this over and over again. 
this little piece here. So if this is one that I don't necessarily want to keep, I can draw it on here. I could have one piece and use it over and over again with different patterns. And so just like that, it's as easy as that to draw on. Now you see how, and I'll put it across the white so you can see. Do you see how nice, how nice that pattern is coming out? So you can really, like I said, take that and preview it. So now we don't have the whole thing drawn on because there's no sense having you watch me do the whole thing. But you can see now that I can take this and you can see that partial pattern. I'm going to be able to take that and place it and check out the where I want to try this size of a template. Same thing can be for you have the templates that are the long borders. So those are nice to have if you want to try out some borders and you can pin them up, stand back and really think about them and take a look. Um, there you're looking at them with a dark color, but that's just so you can really make some decisions. Of course, when you uh, are going to quilt that, you're going to quilt it with matching thread um, or even a sheer, um, the invisible thread. But this paper has been the best best tool I've had in a long time that I, that I don't see it very often. It's 25 feet of this size. So you're going to have this forever. If you can dry erase and use them over and over again, you know, you can keep them for a while and then um, it, you can do them all with dry erase and just be careful with them. And then if you decide maybe next year you don't want to use the one anymore, you can dry erase it and try another one. Or you can simply use them with the permanent and keep them that way too. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can do so here by clicking the subscribe button. That way you'll find out about new videos as they become available.